Hi everyone, I'm Courtney and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, a little bit about me. I'm a nutritionist and I specialize in the areas of juice cleansing, plant-based nutrition, and healing overeating. And if you uh, are already following me and you're not new, then hello again. It's been a little while since I uploaded a video, so it's nice to be, to be back. Um, as you know, I usually like to have plants in my videos, and at the moment I feel like I've got a jungle. You can't even see most of it. It's this plant that exploded over the last year that I've been living abroad, which I've actually been doing. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm back on my setup. <laughs> Not that it's a very fancy setup, but I feel back. So, um, yeah, this last year I've actually been living ab abroad um, for... For almost five months, I was in England, and then for the last six months or so, I was actually in Australia, and I spent about six months um, there, and a lot of that time I was actually volunteering for Divine Truth, which you may have heard me talk about. If not, I usually have a link to that below, um, and you can check out those teachings because they're wonderful. And so I was still working uh, this last six months, but I was doing more of the my consultations, my coaching calls. I also did a bit of a website redesign um, and back end, um, back end kind of admin stuff. So yeah, it was a great like volunteering for Divine Truth was an amazing experience for me um, spiritually. It was just wonderful. So um, the other thing that happened since my last video is I got married. <laughs> um, I, the, I was in England because that's where my boyfriend at the time, now husband, lives. And we um, got married in Australia. And so, yeah, so that happened. And you um, may see him on the channel at some point, probably will, because he is basically a male version of me. <laughs> and he teaches and studies and loves all the exact same topics that, that I do. So... So that's just a little update, because um, it's been a bit since I uploaded a video. Um, so today, the video in the video, what we're going to talk about uh, is I'm going to tell you a little bit about the five-day juice cleanse that I just finished uh, yesterday. And then also, I want to mainly talk a bit about the opportunity um, that juice cleansing gives you to have it be... A time for inner reflection, for prayer, for connecting with God, for connecting with yourself. Um, maybe what you could call spiritual fasting, um, if you want to call it that, uh, or spiritual juice cleansing. <laughs> so yeah, because that was something that I was thinking about on this last five-day juice cleanse that I did, and thought that, that would be a good theme. Um, so, all right, so a little bit about my five-day juice cleanse. Uh, I always want to tell you guys about it, but I've been juice cleansing for so many years that I never quite know what to say. <laughs> I think I mentioned this on the last time I did a juice cleanse, and I talked about my juice cleanse then. I was like, what do I say? Um, which you can go and watch that video as well. Um, that was last year. Um, but yeah, it went really smooth. I had my usual kind of detox symptom uh, experience, which for me is really just first couple of days, I feel like I've got a bit lower energy than usual. I might need a nap. Um, I didn't have any headaches this time, which I normally don't, but I have in the past have headaches, have had headaches. Um, but yeah, just a slightly lower energy than usual. And, um, and then that was it. And then after those first two days, I was fine. And that's the case for most people. Most people, whether you do five days, 20 days, 60 days, the first couple of days, are when you're gonna have your major detox symptoms. If you have any, um, they might be mild. Uh, and the amount of detox symptoms you have depends a lot on your lifestyle and your diet before you went on the cleanse and the kinds of things that your body is having to withdraw from. Um, so yeah, it was quite smooth. I did get some candida out during the enemas that I do on my cleanses, um, which it's fairly like that usually happens for me. Uh, I've never had like a candida problem so much that it affects other areas of my life where I've had to really like be like, I've got to sort this out. But I know that I do still have some candida, probably because I do still like what remains of my um, food addictions is mainly 
sweet stuff like sugar. So I do at times have some refined sugar, um, which is not the greatest, but I do. And that's probably where it's from. Um, but yeah, it just, a juice cleanse feels like such a good reset and five days is such a nice little like vacation into the land of juice to help yourself get rehydrated and remineralized and just feel like all your cells are just sucking up all the goodness. Um, so I really enjoyed it. Um, it was really nice. And, and yeah, so there's not much to report physically really. Um, but emotionally I took just one day where I didn't do anything productive or not much really. And it was like, today I'm just going to take the time off by myself to really connect to myself. And it was really profound for me. And so I thought, you know, let's talk about this on this video because I think that it's a really good opportunity when you're on a juice cleanse to do this. So let's move on to that topic. So, you know, years ago I worked at a juice cleansing retreat center and they often use the topic, uh, they often um, use the name spiritual fasting for different retreats that they have. And, and I like that, like I like that term spiritual fasting. And for me, and what I recommend to people is that if you can find some time during your juice cleanse, even if it's just one day, you know, one day, or, um, you know, if you can only do it for a part of a day, or, you know, it's great if you can do it for, for much longer, is that that's one way that you can approach a juice cleanse is like, this is going to be about my spiritual growth and connecting to myself emotionally. Now that isn't the only way to do juice cleansing because if you are extremely busy and you can't take any time out, that doesn't mean don't do a juice cleanse because, you know, you can totally do juice cleanses when you're busy. Um, I teach people how to do that where they have enough energy and all that. But, um, but there's this other opportunity as well. And so what, like, what was really good for me is basically I took a whole day and I just, you know, I barely went on technology that much. I, uh, read books and I read specifically books that are about like spirituality and relationship with God and personal growth and connecting to emotions, um, you know, journaling different things and just, and I was by myself the whole day and didn't really, I don't think I really left the house very much or maybe at all. And it was just really nice. And the reason why I think it's such a good thing to do on a juice cleanse is because for a lot of us, food and drinks, <laughs> so it's so like caffeine and different drinks, food and drinks act to suppress our emotions um, a lot of the time. Depends on the person. Some people obviously more than more than others. Um, but food and drinks can act to suppress our emotions. And so when you're on a juice cleanse, you don't have that crutch, um, which means that even though it can be challenging, it's a great opportunity to slow down and really check in with yourself. So some people might call it like me time, um, or, you know, yeah, me time, but I'm specifically recommending activities that are going to connect you to your emotions and connect you to your God, to God or whatever higher power you might believe in. Um, because there are a lot of things that people might do as me time that aren't necessarily going to get them in touch with their emotions or are actually a bit distracting. So like say TV shows, as much as I love them, <laughs> they're not really going to help you look inward. They're more of an outward thing. Um, and so, yeah, I would just really recommend, you know, whatever that might look like for you. So for me, it's like, like I said, reading books, journaling is a huge one for me. Journaling has been like one of the best tools for healing my relationship with food and my binge eating, as well as just my general personal development over the years. Um, I also watch divine truth material a lot. Um, you know, stretching to get into my body is a good way to go about it. Um, Theoretically for me, making art without, you know, distractions or noise like in silence would be good. I have a lot of blocks to my creative side that way, but, you know, and they might be different things for you, but just taking that time. Um, because the other thing is that's interesting is a lot of people when they go on juice cleanses, it's like to get through the juice cleanse, they often try to make themselves more busy. So they kind of look forward to the busy days and they might dread the times when they're 
not as busy or their home or the weekends um, might be dip more difficult for people. Um, and the, the only problem is that when you try to make it through a cleanse by staying busy or filling up all your time with distractions, you might get through the cleanse, which is great from a physical perspective because you'll get all the benefits and you made it and all, you know, your body will do what it's going to do. But emotionally, um, it won't necessarily have served to be a cleanse emotionally <laughs> or a cleanse spiritually. And also, the emotions that we might feel and have to connect with or the things we might have to face if we slowed down and stop distracting ourselves are often the same things we're actually trying to avoid with excess food, right? So in other words, um, a lot of the times if people go on a cleanse and they kind of try to stay busy and try to stay busy, it's because they want to stay away from that stuff that actually is the whole reason why they might have, if they have food addictions, that they might have them. Um, and so it's a great opportunity on a cleanse to say, all right, what if I don't have my food to bury my feelings? <laughs> don't have my coffee to bury my feelings. And I don't have all the other potential distractions and addictions in my life to bury my feelings. And I just have to sit with me and maybe do some praying, like what would come up for me? And I think that that's a really beautiful opportunity that we have. Um, and even if you're not a person who does struggle with compulsive eating or overeating or extra weight at all, you might not struggle with any of those things, but still, um, I think a juice cleanse does provide a unique space um, for that kind of introspection. So that's what I would encourage. Again, even if you're a super busy mom of three kids or something and you can only do it every once in a while for a whole night, just switch off, you know, be by yourself, you know, do activities that are going to help you check into yourself. Um, and I think that that's just really beautiful. So, um, and even if, by the way, even if the emotions that come up when you do that are negative, right? So even if you discover, oh, I'm actually really pissed off, <laughs> or I feel really sad in my life right now, or um, there's some things I'm really scared of, even if the emotions are so-called negative, um, it's still really good to connect with them. Like on my kind of day off that I did on day, uh, I think it was two of the juice cleanse, I had a huge, like bunch of emotions come up. I had a, a good bash and got some anger out and I threw, you know, some sneakers at the concrete floor and like, you know, nothing destructive, but I had my like good anger release, which I want to talk about in future videos because it's so important to let ourselves connect with our anger. And then after that, I had this big cry and it just was like, after that, after both those things, I felt so much more relieved and like, cleansed emotionally. <laughs> it was just so good. And so it doesn't feel good when you're in it all the time. But I guess my point is that the emotions you might get in touch with may not be super comfortable, but that's okay. So, um, and it's also a really good space for connecting with God as well. And um, using that time for, for prayer. So yeah, so that's it for me today. And I will talk with all of you soon. Bye.